Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the fifth edition of Connect Community News Bulletin. But first, the highlights of the incredible stories from our beloved neighborhoods. This includes the awarding of 1.2 million Kenya shillings to Limo, an environmental group in Lakisama, a streets and drainage cleanup exercise in Zimmerman by Leseni Contractors Company, youth in Lakisama being trained how to embrace the organic urban farming, and in Ruisambu, a CBO is running a campaign on mental wellness. Plus, a remarkable story of Muse Mungai, a 61-year-old carpenter in Zimmerman, who continues to be a dependable craftsman. So, stay tuned as we dive into these and much more inspiring stories that shape our community's identity. I'm doing this from Blacky Summer. I am Daniel Kemadi. In a remarkable achievement for the Lucky Summer Environmental Waste Management Organization, also known as LIMO, the community-based organization has been granted a substantial sum of, get this, 1.2 million Kenya shillings by the Ustadi Foundation. This grant serves as a recognition to LIMO's unwavering commitment and tireless efforts towards waste management and environmental sustainability. Lemos consistent hard work and dedication to the transforming waste management practices and promoting environmental consciousness within the community have finally paid off. Itakataka, ikitoka malime tumika, inafa irudi malime tumika. So, whereby we, we, we collect from the, from the consumer, we do recy recycle, if it's recyclable. After nakama pia ineza kwa repaired, we repair it. And if it can be reduced, we try to reduce it. Uh, but to ilhali to akikisha tu yote kata ka isiende kwa dam site. So upon the Malia vijana sasa wana kujua wana pata kazi na mapato. Circular economy program proposed by Limo showcases a brilliant and innovative approach to waste management with the potential of creating a lasting social impact. Speaking to the matters environment, Leseni Contractors Company Limited, a construction firm known for outstanding projects in Roisambu constituency, took a break from their usual construction activities to engage in a volunteer exercise aimed at cleaning up the community. The volunteer exercise involved unblocking tunnels and collecting rituals which was later disposed of through a controlled burning. African Regeneration Solutions, a group rooted in sustainable organic farming, is championing for a practice of urban organic farming through scientific methods of cultivation. While having a training session with the Temple Art at CBO in Lucky Summer, the experts say the method offers a practical and a nature-inspired approach to farming. <laughs> alafu uh, mbolea utengeleze mbolea zako uh, kama hapa tunaambiwa Nairobi kuna dam site hapa 60 to 70% of the waste ni organic waste hivyo ni waste ambayo tunaweza pia mifugo zetu ama pia tunaweza kutengeneza mbolea nayo kwa hivyo to enrich our soils kupata mbolea lazima tutumie hizo aina ya mbolea kama hizo ama mbolea za za mifugo it revolves around the concept of food forest where different plant species, including the weeds, coexist and collaborate to create a regenerative ecosystem. By replicating the natural strategies of regeneration found in forests, centrophic agriculture optimizes photosynthesis and biomass production, enhancing the overall fertility of the fields. The M Wellness, a community based organization in Roisambu, organized a community march to address the escalating issues of depression, drug and substance abuse, and increased homicide cases within the Roisambu constituency. The event, which centered on the theme of making mental wellness a priority, witnessed a turnout from individuals, organizations, and local residents all joining hands to advocate for a healthier and a happier community. From securing a job as a helper to a skilled masonry engineer, a 61 years old Gogo Mungai has since climbed the ladder to become a reliable craftsman around Zimmerman area. 
This opportunity not only provided him with a source of income, but also introduced him to the world of carpentry. With dedication and commitment, Mungai at 61 years still stands out as an effective and a reliable carpenter. And finally, upon completing his secondary school in Western Kenya, Brian Wambadwa embarked on a journey to various towns seeking fortune in what's loosely called as hustling or tarmacking. Picture this, Brian riding his bicycle through the shopping center, carrying a bag of charcoal on a delivery mission. Then, out of nowhere, the bag unexpectedly burst into flames. Though he escaped the incidents and hurt, that very day, Brian decided to leave the world of charcoal burning and now he is a self-taught proficient photographer and a videographer around Mirema Drive and has this to say to the youth. What I was telling you is that he has also sent me over now. Let's keep going. 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 Let's keep going.